You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me thanks I never needed gifts or diamond rings All I ever need, I need, I All I ever need Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Carmen and I make videos about bullet journal, art journal and drawings. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and be part of my art family. Also, if you have any video requests, you can find me on my social media and you can find all the links in the description box. Please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Every year, people fix new goals and new purposes. They put all their good intentions to realize them. But at a certain point, they give up and fail. They fail because they don't make a realistic plan, they don't set concrete goals. This is why my January Bullet Journal setup is based on setting little daily goals, little actions to do every day, so at the end of the month, the big goal is finally achieved. I really believe that write down every detail about your dream or your goal is fundamental to realize it. I decided to do a simple layout this month, in fact you will see that I will draw a few doodles. I want to keep it simple and minimal because I want to use the space in the pages for notes about my goals. Here I'm doing the bullet journal calendar, but if you need some inspiration about calendars, I leave the link of my 4 ideas for bullet journal calendars in the description box. As I previously said, I want to dedicate this month to daily goals, so I divided each page into columns. In every column I write goals about these categories, university, work, learning German and my passions. I also match a color to each category, because in the next two pages I did another calendar, but this time is bigger, so I can write my daily goals. For example, if I want to finish my German book this month, I need, it, I need to study almost every day, so I schedule my study plans here. In this way I feel less stressed and I feel that uh, I have all under control. Also the color code is, is useful because I can see how many tasks I have to do that day. In the next page I'm doing my habit tracker, this month again I'm doing the vertical habit tracker, so I wrote uh, all the days of the month on the left page and uh, on the right page I wrote uh, a little legend where I match every color to an habit. And here I'm, I'm doing um, another video ideas and notes categories. The stationaries that I used in these videos are uh, the brush pens Isigo and uh, a Faber-Castell pen, black pen, the fine liner Stedler pen and uh, finally I used the Stabilo pen 68. I conclude the video with this weekly spread. I printed two pictures. I found them, I think, uh, on Pinterest or maybe just on Google. I wrote uh, on Google uh, um, black and white pictures or a way black and white drawings and I found them. I found that uh, they were very cute, so I printed them and I glued it, them on my bullet journal. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite part of this video and remember to hashtag Carmen Art Journal on Instagram or on Twitter or uh, you can find me also on Facebook and Tumblr and show me your pictures about your bullet journal. Also, I will show your pictures in my next video.
Okay guys, it's time to say goodbye to 2017 and say welcome 2018. I wish you a happy new year and thank you for watching guys. I will see you very soon. Bye guys! Yeah, but I didn't know that you never really loved me But now we're done